Juneteenth is a week and a half away. One Bed-Stuy library getting a head start on the celebrations, releasing a special edition library card focused on African American uh, culture. Yeah, and out of the hundreds submitting their design, only one was selected. News 12's Shaquille Omari spoke with the winner and the inspiration behind her work. Um, I'm a huge fan of watching the Oscars, so I feel like this is like my moment in my mind. <laughs> For college student Jende Williams, today is a dream come true. Williams' artwork, unveiled at the Macon Library branch, will be plastered on thousands of library cards across Brooklyn. I, I'm just so honored and grateful. The design selected out of hundreds. I'm still in shock that um, I, I won out of 400 people. I think, well, wow. Celebrate black history. And our hope is that it will send a strong message to readers of all ages that black history matters. And it comes where New York City will recognize Juneteenth as an official holiday. The reaction of young black and brown kids like, wow, this is the first holiday and I can have a card with people that look like me. Um, I'm, I'm just speechless. The art ties inspiration from the 1986 Memphis civil rights protest to prominent historical figures like Jackie Robinson and Shirley Chisholm. <laughs> but it also adds a piece of the 21 year old's everyday life. And I wanted to show the, the culture of New York, being on the train. We were just on the train coming here and there were people yelling and people dancing. Another reason for the unveiling of the library card is to not only bring attention to the branch, but also bring attention to the newly renovated African American Heritage Center. I feel like this whole year, after with what we all been through with COVID, I feel like it, it's a message for me to really push through with, with life. The Black American Heritage Cards will be at all Brooklyn Public Libraries on June 21st. In Bed-Stuy, Shaquille Omari, News 12.